Hello, this video is about color palettes or color wheels and the material picker. Okay, I do this video a second time because now it works better. Okay, here in Nomad's Cult, the normal way to paint is paint tool is selected and here there are the material menus and you can here choose your materials or your colors but you always have to open the menu and there's no uh, on-screen color wheel that stays open okay so i tested <laughs> and there are two options okay the first one is you can use a background image. Um, I imported here such a um, PNG file with a transparent background. Or you can use uh, such palette images. And okay. And it's very important uh, that the overlay is zero and the opacity is uh, one, not zero, one. Okay, you can change it, um, but uh, then you get uh, different colors. When I change the opacity and I pick here the color, I get a, a different color uh, like when the opacity is one. And here when I pick now the color on the color wheel, I get the correct color and important is also uh, here in the material settings um, the, the colors are affected uh, from the light and when you turn on always unlit you see the true colors or yes you see it unlit okay but you can use such color wheels to uh, pick here the, the color and paint and here you can scale your your color wheel and bring it in a position you like here at the top and if you don't need it yes you can hide it so and if you um, want skin tones like this then use this one and paint your skin tones okay this was option one and the second one is you can use such small color palettes here and the nice thing is you can save here the the roughness and the met metalness when you use here the color picker you get uh, roughness information and um, metalness so and then it's possible to paint on the object okay and the nice thing is you can save these palettes as a own object and it doesn't need any space or it's so small and you can use it for every project you you create. Add to scene the color palette and you can use it. So how to create such a palette? Uh, I create a new scene. At the moment we don't need the sphere. And add a plane, rotate it in the front and the division x is zero and now you can validate the object so now it's possible to add a, a array node at the top you can change the offset come on 1.05 and the count 
for example, 7 or 6. Okay. And uh, in the set direction, you can also use 6 and 1.05 and you get such a nice grid. You can validate this and uninstance all objects. Then a group is created. So, okay. And pick the first square and here in the material settings you can pick your first color, red, and now complete rough color and paint all. Select the second one, change it to yellow and paint all. So you can create your palette So I think it's okay. And here, pure white. And the next one, pure black. And here, for example, um, something with, with metalness. So, and you can save the palette in your projects and add it to the scene for every project you work. Okay, and objects or palettes you don't need. You can use the select function, select them. And here in the scene, you can hide the parts you don't need. And when it's up to painting, so you, you can adjust the size of the palette. So it's a nice size and now it's possible when you use the paint brush, when you select here yellow and select the object, sorry we have to validate, then you can paint yellow and pick the other color, then you can paint in this color. So in this yeah, color palette, yeah, you can save roughness, met metalness, and yeah, it's a little bit better than the background image. Okay, and for example, when you create a new scene, then press add to scene and select your color palette, and it appears here and Now when you select the paint tool, you got your colors. And it's stored with every project you, yeah, you work with. So that's it. Now it's correct. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.